What is going on, my Super Sandwiches? Rob here, and today we're dancing in Dragon Ball Z Universe. Wee! And while my character is dancing, not paying any attention to me, I'm gonna show you a quick guide how to level up at a much faster pace with DLC Pack 3. As you guys already know, level 99 is a new cap, and it takes quite a bit of experience points to go from one level to another. As you can see, I need 1.1 million points to get to level 96, which is a lot of points. But uh, actually, with DLC Pack 3, there is a much faster rate to train, and I will show you in a couple seconds. Hey, you! You, hey you, stop dancing. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, okay, now, now he's paying attention to us. So before we go there, we need two things. We need to go to customize, change skill sets, equip maximum charge, and blue hurricane. These two tools are going to be your tool for success or something. Uh, you're going to go to the new parallel quest, scroll down to the Return of the Giant A Festival. As you can see, uh, when you complete this quest, you get 101,000 or 101,000 or somewhere around there points for completion. So pretty much 10 uh, great festival quests will get you at one new or one level in the new uh, DLC slash patch slash uh, max cap update. Um, but if you, if you already played this quest, you probably realize that it takes a lot more points to knock out a great ape this time. And it does. It takes more than just a couple hits. You can't just flap it and punch him three times and then do an ultimate like you did with the previous great festival. This time, you actually have to do some work. And this is the best way to do it. So we're going to go ahead and flap to this uh, gate real fast, this portal. We're going to charge up our uh, maximum charge. And also, if you have uh, strike skills, it actually helps to put some points into strikes. Right now, I think I only have uh, 20, and they only come from my costume. I don't have any because of my point. My character is built around basic attacks and key attacks. But it, it helps if you have uh, strike points. Uh, and actually, I suggest that you make a strike-based character, and then change him later with the Dragon Balls. So what you're going to do is you're going to flat the Great of Nappa like this, and you're going to charge you. Make sure you wait till you charge, because it can get really annoying to pull up this move. You're going to do a Blue Hurricane real fast. Come here. Come here, Great of Nappa. Take this. Take your Blue Hurricane. And basically, you're just going to do exactly like what you did last time and just do a, uh, the Blue Hurricane over and over again. Now, uh, this is not going to kill him. This is not going to kill him. This is just going to do a lot of damage. It's going to get him out of his stamina. See, it crushes stamina. And it's going to do uh, quite a bit of damage. And then, uh, after that, after you're done with that, you're going to just grab the tail like this. Oh, come on, grab the tail. There we go. Um, if you grab the tail, you actually get more points for completion. So try to grab the tails at least once or twice per uh, round. Or per uh, grade ape. Actually, I don't know if it matters if you do all of them or what, but definitely try to grab the tail at least once or twice to get those points. And then you're gonna do the blur again. again. Now, if you have a higher strike skills, if you had let's say 40, 50, 60, even 100, uh, you can knock out a grade ape with one blue hurricane. But if you're like me and you're basically stuck with zero strike skills and you have to rely on getting strike points from like outfits, then you'll have to basically equip um, two. Oh God! You have to equip. No, stop yelling at me. You'll have to equip. Uh, what's call it? Uh, blue hurricane. Do it once or twice to get them down. And then, come here, Nappa, get out of here. And then you just grab their tail, give me, toss them, and that's your key to success. So basically, you're gonna do it at uh, four times because there's four graves in this mission. Uh, Nappa, Vegeta, baby. And then uh, if you get the um, the bonus mission, you'll also get Bardock who pops in there with a what? What, what, what was that? Oh, that was uh, Yamcha. I thought it was uh, the Great Ape. I was like, why is he still alive? Um, uh, if you if you get the bonus mission, you'll get Bardock to pop in with uh, a time patrol, and of course, if you beat the time patrol, you can also get Dragon Balls. So this is actually a cool way to farm Dragon Balls while you're um, you know while you're fighting great apes and getting stronger. Also, note you can only use the Dragon Balls one time to level up. I mean, originally when I found out about DLC Pack Three, my plan was to basically farm Dragon Balls, level up, and then also get um, uh, Dragon Balls in between to level myself up. Uh, you know, in between actual levels, but that doesn't work. You can only do it one time. After you do it uh, again, then it uh, actually doesn't have it as an option. So uh, you can use it at any point because uh, pretty much any time you level up, it takes 1.2 million points to uh, get to the next level. And also equip some items too because uh, any of these great apes can kill you in one hit and it can get pretty annoying to get almost to the end of the level and then to get killed by one of the great apes. It happens to me so many freaking times. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You're just gonna keep doing this over and over again. It can get pretty. Oh shoot, I forgot to charge key. It can get pretty redundant, but uh, within a couple hours, you should be level 93. And once you get to level 93 and train with uh, Elder Kai, you actually gain two levels. So that's actually cool too. So basically, once you get to level 93, um, you should be pretty much uh, good with. Come here. You should be good with uh, another a million, two million, two point five million experience points or whatever the points they give you. But you gain two levels out of it. Come here, baby. See that attack right there? He would have killed me with that attack if he pulled it off of me. Do one more real fast. Come here. Also, I suggest that you have at least six key bars because then you can do two uh, blue hurricanes back to back. Uh, it definitely helps. Um, it again, if you want to worry about adding the stats later because you can farm dragon balls out of this, feel free to just dump all your points into uh, strike skills and then when you're done, you know you can do it yourself later. Also, uh, to trigger this quest, make sure nobody dies. So if Tian, 
Yamcha or Pan die at any point in these quests, it's not going to trigger the bonus mission. But if they're alive, it almost uh, triggers it, I think, almost all the time. But I know if they do die, it doesn't trigger it for, for sure. So make sure you keep them alive. But again, if you pop out, do a quick Blue Hurricane, you should be chilling. Um, also, a quick suggestion, this uh, fight can get annoying a little bit because of Bardock and uh, the patrol that's killing you. So usually what I do is, is I'll kill the patrol first. Uh, and you can try to do two birds one stone by just doing the Blue Hurricane. But it also it's just a lot easier to just take them out in the beginning like this. Come here. Come here, you. Come here, Gibson WC. Stop flying around. Just take it. Dang it. See, this person's being annoying. Why are you being annoying? You're being annoying. You're being annoying. Gibson, you're being annoying. Watch Gibson be an actual subscriber. If you're a Gibson WC and this is your uh, patroller, let me know. That'd be awesome if it is you. Because um, I had Afro Sanjay pop in yesterday, so that was cool. Uh, but yeah, so you just knock out the patroller first. Bardock is not, he's not going to uh, harm you. He's just going to chill over there and you know do his thing and just try to walk into the rock, not realizing that you have to actually walk around the rock. But once you have enough key, just do the same thing. Fly after him. Come here. Come here, Bardock. He's going to jump and try to hit me. Do not get hit by attack. It will kill you. It will kill you pretty much almost any, any time. So warning. Bring items if you need to. Uh, so yeah, you just finish it up. Come here, Bardock. Come on. Just take it. Take the damage. Take it. Get unstamina. There we go. There it is. Yeah, take all that damage. How much health does he have? Let's see how much he has. I think I'm going to try to finish him off with... Oh, let's do a Blue Hurricane again. Come here. I feel like he's going to get up. He's going to get up, isn't he? Don't get up. Don't get up. Ah, oh, he got up. Blast you, Bardock. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. Just do this over and over again. In a couple hours, you will be level 93. Talk to the other guy. He'll unlock your potential. You get unlock potential. And then you also get the uh, almighty um, unlock potential, which actually isn't that cool. But it's, it's, just, it's a cool effect. And I think it's a pretty cool... Uh, move to use with certain Z souls, so I'm actually gonna use it right now. Unlock potential! Yeah, no, just cuz. Just because. Oh, yeah? You gonna do that? You gonna play that game? Come here. Uh, and also, by the way, if you wanna uh, find some tricks and how to use unlock potential, I made a video that I will link in the description below. It actually is a pretty cool move to use with certain Z souls, and it could be great for. Come here! Why are you still alive? Just take it! Come on! Okay, there we go. There we go, finish him off. Oh yeah, uh, but Unlock Potential is a great move to actually use with certain Z Souls, like what I'm using right now, Super Saiyan Bargain Sale, which actually offers me a boost in stamina recovery, but there's a bunch of other ones that work great with transformation, so just explore and see what's out there. But there you have it, folks, how many points did we get? We got 86,000 that time, I, I would have gotten more if I grabbed all their tails, so uh, try to grab all their tails and finish them off with that move because it does give you more points, and uh... Again, in a couple hours, you should be able to reach the level you're trying to go for. And and yeah, also fight by yourself. Uh, don't bring uh, anybody with you because I believe, as you can see, by fight by yourself. If you um, you know, have more against you, you get more points. So do that, and again, you'll be level 99 within uh, a good day or so. So yeah, get to grinding. Let's see you guys in the battlefield and all that stuff. So yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys found that video helpful. If you did, make sure you leave a like right below. Any questions, comments, or feedback, or tips that you found yourself that work great, feel free to drop it in the comments section below, and we'll take it from there. As always, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Rhyme Style, and I'll see you all y'all awesome super sandwiches in the comment section below. Peace.